Hey everyone, it's Gary the Google Guy here. I thought I'd give you a heads up on a brand new feature that's been recently added to Google Slides. Now, any skilled presenter knows that an interactive presentation is often an effective presentation. So, starting today, you can now better engage your audience by allowing them to submit questions and vote on them during Google Slide presentations. So let's show you how this feature is going to work. Now, on my screen, I just have a simple demo type of a presentation. In the upper right hand corner you're probably used to seeing this present button and then if we click that little arrow to the right side of it it would give you the option of utilizing speaker notes. Well it's been changed up a little bit. Now if we click on present you'll see it will go into that presenting mode and in the lower left corner you still have that little black bar where you can go to do your different slides you can go to your presenter view that you have here and in addition they've got a brand new tool which I'll cover in just a moment which is this laser pointer which is pretty cool let's click on exit now if we go back up to that upper right hand corner you're also gonna see a little pull down arrow next to it if we click on that we can now go into presenter view so this is gonna bring up that box that you're probably used to seeing those speaker notes in and probably when you're presenting you drag this to another screen and extend a desktop while your other presentation is being displayed on another screen now you do have the same option of being able to view your speaker notes at the top of our bar here but what's been added is this really cool new tool that's for accepting and working with questions from your audience live while you're giving that presentation. So just to the left of that, you'll see that we're in audience tools. Now, if I just drag this aside a little bit, this is what our audience would see as a normal presentation. They would see the full screen mode of that specific slide deck. Now if down at the bottom here we can go ahead and look at all of our different questions and what we're going to do is we're going to turn the question feature on here. We're going to click on start new. You'll see that now up at the very top it's accepting questions from and we have this link that will be provided to our users. Now we can always turn this off at any point in time if we would like and as the presenter any questions that get submitted will be shown up here in our questions box. Now if I just drag this aside, so let's say for a moment that this is what our audience is seeing. You now see a little bit different view of our slide deck and up at the very top you'll now see ask a question at and it gives a link. Now our audience will be able to click on that link. It will open up in a new tab for them and up at the very top there you'll see that they now have an option to ask a question and right now we don't see any questions that have been fielded or asked by our audience and we be as an audience participant would be able to see those other questions in this tab as well as being able to vote on them as a thumbs up or thumbs down so for example let's go ahead and just type something in here And we'll just be a little fun here and do why is this presentation taking so long? And then we're going to click on submit. Now you do have the option of asking as yourself as bits who is logged in, or we can ask this as an anonymous. So below that we're going to see this is the question that has been presented by me, and the audience would have a thumbs up or a thumbs down type of a vote. Now what is the presenter going to see? Well let me just switch back to my screen and grab my other box here and if I pull this in so now the presenter is now going to see in that audience tool tab any questions that have been submitted during this presentation and now I can go ahead and answer this question live on the air while I'm giving my presentation. So that's one really cool tool that's been added to Google Slides. So that audience piece, that interaction can really make a difference. Now I'm going to just exit out of this and I'm going to exit out of that questions tab and go back to our presenter view. Another thing that we have that's just recently been added is in our tool deck down here down at the bottom here. We have a laser pointer. So we can turn this laser pointer on and off and then while we're presenting our slides, let's say for example we are going to be in slide number two here. I can go ahead and use my laser pointer to point out maybe certain things on a slide. You'll see my red dot has appeared at the top of our screen and now I can just use my mouse as that laser pointer to point out specific information that I want to draw attention to in my slide deck. So a couple of really cool updates to Google Slides that you can now start using and hopefully that will give you a little bit more power to use and a little bit more of a difference maker in your presentations. Well, that's all I got for now. So this is Gary the Google Guy. Until we meet again, take care and have a great day.